Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> entering the studio, Governor Scott, I've talked to you many times. Bud Hedinger, it's nice to have you here. No headset required. I've got the best leather chair in the place for you. You're looking very dapper. He's a uh, dark, dark, uh, dark suit, blue tie, white man. He's outdressed the Bud Man here, and uh, and welcome aboard. Now we have a good relationship with Fox. What I don't think you know is that I do a, a, a Skype hit every morning with our friends at Fox 35, and we talk with the producers. And 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 they said to me, and they were said, well, we've got Rick Scott on the show, and I says, well, so do I. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, we got him first. So you've just made your way down from Fox 35 in Lake Mary. That was fun. I got I was on there with Mike, and uh, so I didn't get the. I just uh, talked to Heidi. I um, just said hi to Heidi. Sure. Though. So they're, well, they're nice. They're a really nice uh, group over there. Oh, they are. They're they're a great group of people, and we appreciate you being <laughs> here with us this morning. And as I just said in the setup, because I was dancing and killing just a little bit of time, because I knew you were closing fast, but not here yet. Um, that what you and your folks wanted to talk about was giving us an update on where we are on your jobs program. In the wake of the legislature, they gave you some of what you wanted to make this happen, which was the centerpiece of your campaign. Uh, you didn't get everything you wanted. So what's the latest on that now as you go through the budget sure. line Bye. by line? Sure. Where are we on this? Sure. With the particular focus you wanted on jobs. Well, you, I spent the last two days, eight hours a day, going through the budget line by line. But we, we, had a, we, have, a, we have a very good budget. Uh, I'm excited about about that and we had a great session so on the budget as you know I ran on a campaign of seven steps to 700,000 jobs I wanted to reduce it phase out the business tax over seven years so we started that uh, nearly half the businesses paying taxes right now in the state won't pay taxes anymore all that money think about business people want to build companies all that money will go back into private sector jobs or buying equipment Two, we reduce property taxes by 210 million dollars that's that's for businesses and homeowners that will get back, go back into the economy and build jobs Next, we reduce the cost and size of government. That's, that's exactly what we should be doing. The government's way too big. We modernize our pension plan. We've you know, had a dramatic impact on education. We are going to drug screen welfare recipients. We streamline economic development. Now, uh, the individual that runs it is offices two doors down from me. Uh, we work together every day. I'm now, this is Gray Swoop, right? Yeah, Gray uh, is good. Have you now, met him? Well, well, I haven't met him yet, but he comes out of Haley Barber's uh, staff in Mississippi, highly regarded. And so you got him, and he is two doors down from you. Yeah. And, and and how is it going to work, your relationship with him, and exactly what will he be doing on the jobs front? So what he'll do is he'll be responsible for basically all of our public-private partnerships, all of our relationships like Enterprise Florida, Visit Florida, uh, Agency for Work Workforce Innovation, all these things uh, that are going to fo just focus 100% every day on jobs. And he was very successful in Mississippi, and Mississippi did very well. We should be able to do better than Mississippi. Uh, so Gray, has done, he's hit the ground running. I think he's been there six or seven weeks now and call on companies just like I am every day around the, uh, around Florida see what we can do and we've had great successes Bing Energy Vision Airlines Cromaloy and others uh, they're adding jobs here in the state and then we're calling on companies around the world I've already taken my first uh, trade mission to uh, Panama because uh, you know I put a lot of focus in making sure that our our ports are ready for the expansion of the Panama Canal I have a trade mission up to Canada our number one trading partner in the first week of June I'm taking a lot of business leaders uh, around the state and, it, and basically all it is is you're building relationships between people that might want to do business here or are doing business here and we want to ex expand those relationships both ways so but we did that education pension work for, uh, we did and we just had a great session well let me let me ask you here and we're going to take a break and continue in a moment um, uh, the the legislature gave you 110 million dollars that I understand Gray Swoop has to play with in the way of incentives for right. for companies to expand here. You wanted 300 million. How much of an impediment is that? Oh no! Look, uh, having over 100 million dollars is is a significant opportunity. Now what I've got to do and Gray's going to do is we're going to make sure Florida taxpayers get a return. This is going to be something that's going to be good for Florida taxpayers. Uh, so we're going to measure it. We're going to we're going to use it to attract companies to keep companies here, uh, but we're going we're gonna to watch how we spend the money, but yeah, having $100 billion, very few states have anything like that. We continue live with Governor Rick Scott. We've got a lot more questions on the jobs front and other areas as well, and I think you'll find this interesting and worth your time, gang. So stay with the Bud Man and Governor Rick Scott, 712 on BHL. Here's an update on real-time traffic and weather.